So to recap now, a noun is the name of a person, animal, place, thing or idea. So singular refers to one item or one noun, whereas plural refers to more than one. There are different rules when changing from the singular to the plural nouns. So the first rule we have here, rule one, is a, is a basic rule. It is where we basically add s to the end of the nouns. For example, we have dogs. So dog will change. Dog is the singular. Dogs, d-o-g-s, is the plural. Apple, singular. Apples, a-p-p-l-e-s. We just add the s. That is plural. Boy, b-o-y, singular, and b-o-y-s, plural. So the first rule is where we just add s to the end of the noun. Rule number two states now, add es to nouns ending in ch, s, sh, ss, x, o, and z. So any of the nouns, any of the nouns that end in these um, letters, we'll add es to form the plural. So for example, we have church, ch, u, r, ch, and in ch, so we have churches, ch, u, r, ch, e, s. Bus ends in S, B U S. So the plural for buses, buses, B U S S E S. Plural, the singular, fish, it's uh, S I F I S H, ends in S H. So the form the plural is F I S H E S. Boss ends in S S. So bosses, B O S S E S, plural. Box ends in X. To form the plural, we have B O X E S. Tornado ends in O. Therefore, we add es, t o r n e d o e s. Quiz ends in z. So, quizzes, q u i z e s. We have rule number three. Rule number three states if the word ends in a consonant and a y, then change the y to i and add es. A consonant is any letter in the alphabet that is not a vowel. So therefore, we have C O U N T R Y, country. Country, there now, we can see it ends in Y, and the letter before that is a consonant, R. Alright, so therefore, we change the Y to I, and we add ES, so we get country, C O U N T R I E S. Same thing with body, it ends in Y. And the letter before the Y is a consonant, D. So we change the Y to I and add ES, B O D I E S. Rule number four if the word ends in a vowel, and a vowel is the letter is A E I O U, and Y, then just add S. So the word boy, it ends in Y. But the letter before Y is O. O is a vowel, so therefore all we needed to do was add S to form the plural, boys. Same thing with key. It ends in Y, the letter before Y is E, which is a vowel, so therefore we just add S, keys. Rule number five. If a word ends in a consonant and O, then we sometimes add S or ES. Alright, so there is no rule. For this, all right, all you need to do is to just learn them off. So for kilo is K I L O, it ends in O, but and the letter before is a consonant, but we add just S. So watch with hero now. It ends in O, con the word the letter before is a consonant, so just we add now E S. Same thing with zero, ends in O, letter before is a consonant, but we add just S. So these are some words that you just need to learn off the plural for. Rule number six, if the word ends with F or F-E, we drop them and we add a V-E-S. So basically, you're dropping the F and you're replacing that with a V or the F-E, you drop that and you replace it with a V and add E-S. So for example, calf, we end then F, so we change that to V-E-S, so calves, life, L-I-F-E, we change the F-E to V and we put E-S, lives. Same thing with leaf. And an F, so we change that to V and we add yes, leaves. Rule number seven. Words ending in FF, you just add S to make 
the plural. So cliff have two F's in the N, so we just add the S. Tough we have two F's we end we just add the S to the end. Rule number eight. Words ending in F you just add S to make the plural. So for example we have roof, R O O F, ends in F. So we just add the S to make it plural roofs. Rule number nine. Some plural nouns are formed by changing the vowels within the singular form or changing the spelling or adding R or EN or there are no changes at all. So these are irregular nouns, right? So irregular, these irregular nouns now to change them to plural, sometimes you just need to change the vowel, sometimes you need to change the word itself or sometimes you need to leave it the same so for example man m a n the vowel in here is a but we the plural is men so we change the a to e so men plural mouse we have singular mouse but the plural is mice we end up changing the entire spelling here for the plural for children for child sorry is singular we change it to children we add r e n all right for ox we add e n only oxen and for sheep the plural remains sheep. So these are some of the rules for singular and plural. All right, and we use these rules when changing from a singular, which means one item, to a plural when we refer to more than one item. Always remember, a noun is the name of a person, animal, place, or thing, or idea. All right, so that's it.